plays, but not nah, like Pikachu. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay. it's, it's Pikachu Toon Link. So Pikachu Toon Link. that is like you don't see these matchups super commonly, right? Mm -hmm. And exactly what you were saying, right? Once you start to remove those top players, and and honestly, ultimate, right? You still have top players in the in the meta, you know, right? Like pushing their soul characters. But you see a lot more character diversity, and uh, hold on, that's not a Toon Link coming out here. Okay. I, I've i heard this before, and honestly, I understand the pick, right? I've heard Kirby does susceptibly well against Pikachu, and we might be seeing it in front of our eyes for the very first time. I'm ready to see what Goober is going to be able to do going into this matchup against Joe Pone using Kirby of all characters. Yeah, so part of the reason for that, right, is t -jolt. Tjolt is one of those tools that dictates matchups, right? If a character doesn't have tools to beat Tjolt, they probably lose to Pikachu. You know what character doesn't have great tools to deal with Tjolt? Pikachu. Yeah. So Kirby being able to steal that, get those inhales, can be very, very strong. Okay. As well as you have, you know, even though you have limited movement speed, you have really good normals, you have a very solid anti-airs, and so you're able to stuff out this character's approaches decently well, especially if you can find an inhale, starting to find a corner situation now, maybe looking for an advantage state. Here we go, Joe Pone catching the jump there with the back air, looking to push his advantage state, getting Goober off the, catching the up special there with the back air again. Oh, not able to catch that air dodge though, unfortunate SD off of that too. Joe is looking pretty good right there with the Lesher, but unfortunately, you got a little lost in the sauce there, and the Pikachu is going to go down like yeah, that. Yeah, unfortunate. Just looked like, you know, try, probably rolled those angles over a little bit fast. Getting that T-Jolt now, right, access to the Kirby neutral B. As well, you have multiple jumps, right? So you can threaten it more oh! consistently, but finding the Thunder Spike and not even dying. Keeping that air drift neutral, right? So Thunder hits you, stalls you in the air, allows you to get back to stage. Really good heads up play from Joe Pone to, you know, put himself right back in this one, Momo. Very good stuff to Goober now getting that copy ability once again. Joe Pooh having to fight, casing some of his own medicine, realizing, wait, maybe Tuchel is really annoying. This is what I've been doing to people. And honestly, he's feeling the full force of that right now as Goober tries to play around this, jumping around, avoiding this Pikachu, getting back to stage. Nice catching that jump there with the Nair. Ooh, nice quick attack there too. Joe Pooh able to make it back to stage, but now Goober looking to find this ledge trap here. Nice back throw. Do we see a ledge trap here? I, I think, you know, it's definitely possible the way Joe Pone playing, but with, not with that tech and we're on it and fighting the stock off the back here. We're on FD Momo, and that's a really strange choice because of how much Kirby likes playing grounded below platforms. Pikachu really doesn't like them, right? This is widely considered to be, along with Kalos, one of Pika's two best stages, and not a stage you see Kirby's go to very often. So interesting to see not to not see this one banned and, and see it here, especially two and a half minutes in. But right now, I mean Goober's making it work. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, now Joe just trying to catch Goober out of the air here, looking for that forward air. Not able to hit that F smash just yet. Goober is doing such a good job of using those those disjoints as Kirby to play around this Pikachu, right? Catching that aerial there, avoiding that F smash once again. That copy ability has been so pivotal for Joe, trying to get in, you know, around that Tijo. But like you said earlier, he doesn't really have the tools to deal with this. Yep, especially when you couple it with that down tilt by 35% trip chance there. So incredibly powerful. And Goober's really using it to stuff out these grounded approaches and then is covering that diagonal with the T Jolt, with up tilts, with some with aerials, and is using Kirby's floatiness to occupy the space, use T Jolt to cover the other one. It's just very, very solid neutral play, very solid defense, and Joe hasn't been able to find a consistent way in. Yeesh, up there not gonna do it, but that back here definitely win. Uber 707 with the back here to close out the two stop in game one. Honestly, this Kirby pick, I'm a fan. I'm yeah, a fan. I mean, by the way he, that game went, I, I mean, I'm a fan too, right? Mm -hmm. And who doesn't love seeing Kirby, right? Uh, shout outs to the homie TK1 uh, for being the rep, the right, the local Kirby main on the mic out here, but not here tonight. And just some fantastic play from Goober through game one. Very solid, fun news based play. Unfortunate SD there from Joe Pone, right? You see, right, that those SDs generally come from rolling the angle from that stick. You're trying to get a diagonal into an up diagonal, and you roll it a little too fast, so you just get straight up, and then you can't input a second angle. It's a little unfortunate, but going to this next game, we're definitely going to be having a platform stage where we're seeing a much more already. Nice up air conversion, but Goober immediately back on it, getting that inhale there, finding the copy ability. Joe really struggling to find these, op these openings in general with this Pikachu, right? 
using that T-Zolt, trying to play around this Kirby. Look for the aerial, and that crouch there is so pivotal for Goober. Looking very good right now, but Joe just looking to get that damage in regardless. Yeah, the triple up air there, you could have maybe found a slingshot on one of those and comboed into into a thunder or found a greater extension, but we really haven't seen any slingshots out from either of these players so far. Something like you'll see in an Arcadian is that players not being at the top level, right, generally have a little bit less clean movement, and it's definitely playing an effect here right now, though, just tr Joe Pone trying to find his way back to stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, nice catch in the quick tag. We've seen this catch almost three times now, where Goober catches that quick tag with the dash tag and the aggressive jump off the stage. Joe Pone has a really bad habit of quick attacking on, getting back onto the stage, and then going for aggressive approach option once again. And Goober has got his number on that. You've yeah. got to be careful here, getting called out on these options. And Joe Pone, he's got to mix it up right now. He's definitely looking, he's not looking that great. And getting a little antsy, right? That preemptive back air. He's still able to get back uncontested, but doing so allowed Goober a way back to stage. However, Goober as well, right? Kind of throwing out a couple too many jumps, maybe trying to camp you out in the corner with T-Jolt. And going to take a whole lot of percent, but Joe Pone not able to find the stock, even with Goober running into the F smash and still trying to close it out now. But so far, Momo, no dice. Ooh, that dash hack is going to do it. Very good stuff. The strong Pikachu dash hack closing the stock out against Kirby. Joe Pone now, like, taking it slow, realizing you got to play a lot more towards the ground. I think Kirby, obviously Kirby has those really good, like, the, the down tilts, the disjoints with the foot in general. But you've got to take a second and relax, because your jumps and your aerial gameplay is getting called out time and time again by this Kirby. Yep, exactly what you said, but right now it's just the Joe Pone show continuing this edge guard, continuing this cross edge, great down air, but Kirby's multiple jumps mm. floating us, right? And the low percent that he hit that are gonna allow you back, find a reversal out of the corner, Momo, and what can Goober make happen here? Honestly, the thing I'm seeing from Goober right now is just those conversions off of those singular hits are looking pretty good. Now we'll catch that F Smash there, unfortunately. We're seeing the back throw. Again, can't catching that quick attack. We're seeing the same quick attack pattern time and time again. And Joe needs, for the love of God, to switch it up. He is getting called out so many times. F Smash is going to catch that landing, though. See if Joe with the punish. Still yeah. catching these anti airs in that forward air. Still not going to close it out. Yeah, I like the forward air there on reaction. You just kind of dodge forward. You force based on that diagonal positioning Eesh. to find, right, to force an option out from Goober, and then you catch it as well, right, just charging the delay on that F smash so active that it calls out even a neutral getup. And now Goober on his last stock has an extra game to work with here. here. And we're in best of five territory, are we not? So. No set on the line yet, but just counter pick advantage. Joe finally mixing up that quick attack, as you pointed out earlier, though, and finding a way back to stage. Definitely very good stuff from Joe. Realizing the errors of his ways, realizing, like, hey, I'm going to hold two games in. I got to, like, catch up to this. You know, like, Goober's been taking lead his entire set and doing that perfectly there. A spot dodge into down smash. Goober, again, been catching these aerial approaches, catching these t jolts Time and time again, this Kirby has been moving, for lack of a better term. But Joe is looking to finally get himself out of that corner and do something for himself. Yeah, but speaking of moving, right, got displaced there for a second. Long combo string from Joe Pone, but swinging with the up smash, that could be the opportunity. However, the down tilt trip chance, I feel like Kirby mains and Kirby players, it's 35%, Ooh. but they hit it every time, and the downs or the up smash again gonna close it out. And Goober going up 2-0. Joe Pone had a way into that game, but just couldn't capitalize, and now has his back against the wall here. Honestly, like, I think if the way that Joe Pone's playing, like, slowly better, he's looking pretty good in this instance, where, like, he finally found, like, realized, like, I gotta stop quick attacking the same angle, but get called out. You know, he's realizing he has to stop jumping from ledge. And it's working out a decent amount, right? He, he was able to bring it the last stock there, but you have to bring, now have to win three games in a row, and that's gonna be very, a lot easier said than done, especially against a man like Goober707. Yep, and right now Goober just looking to get it started off, trying to find a corner situation, but great catch on the forward air from Joe Pone. However, he's getting a little over aggressive, but it's gonna be Goober's antsiness out of shield that's gonna allow Joe Pone to find this huge extension. Again, though, both these players are playing so aggressive at the moment, and it's just allowing them to swing back and forth, take what should be solid advantage states into just scrap situations instead. Mm -hmm. There we go, nice landing back there with the back air. Goober trying to get this advantage state up, up tilt into up air. I've been loving the conversion we've been seeing off of this Kirby time and time again, right? Those up tilts, those aerials coming out. It's able, the, the pickups we've been seeing have been very, very pivotal. Like you said, the down tilt trip has been going off so many times. And like, once this Kirby has found a hit, it's either found a stock or tons of damage. Absolutely, right now the fair looking for it, back air as well, but great quick attack angle from Joe Pone. Maybe that's the angle he was looking at for before, where he got that SD. 
trying to find that T-Duel back to stage, but not going to find it. And positioning right now defensively around the edge of this platform, and we're seeing him make some of these positioning adjustments on stage, allowing him to just kind of force, force Kirby to really for, choose to jump or play grounded, taking advantage of this movement, of his poor movement in combination with T-Duel, giving him openings, but still going to lose the first stock. Very good stuff. Now, Cooper able to clutch. Oh! Oh, Chopone getting a little too lost in the sauce there, looking to close the stock. Unfortunately, Goober again throwing out those aerials, right? Catching Pikachu, going for these trades time and time again because Kirby wins these trades. Kirby's got some beefy aerials. That f Snatch is not a trade you want to take, of course, but that T-Joel coming out again. Can we find the ledge trap here? Joe finally going for that back, but a huge tech, and now you've got Goober in advantage state time and time again. Joe has been dropping these edge guards because this Kirby has been holding on to its resources so, so well. And again, right, finally a high quick attack gonna convert, put Goober onto the platform. Joe gonna call it out with an F smash, close out the stock. And right now, Momo just resetting to neutral. Goober trying to hold on to this momentum he's carried throughout the set. Jopon trying to find that sliver of an opening he's had, trying to convert, bring it back. He's starting off hot, but he needs to find the stock. He cannot lose it in this corner situation right now. Oh my gosh, Joe getting red like the reading rainbow. Please. Goober literally looking over to him during in the player cam, like, yo, you gotta stop doing that. He gets called out. If you're in Wizard Semis, you cannot be getting away with those same options. And honestly, this Kirby throwing it out all on the line, saying like, hey, I'm sitting in advantage here right now. I caught your quick attack there. And now a full stock up. Joe is struggling to find the stock soon. And I love that up air from Joe, even though it didn't find the stock. He just got the wrong hitbox. He was trying to find that weak hit by trying maybe find a drag down fair or something afterwards. But instead, it's going to be Goober or with the advantage state yet again. Joe's still trying to get his way out of the corner. And the way Goober is playing these corner situations, right? Ledge trapping Joe is so impressive because normally that's very hard to do against Pikachu. Oh, there we go. Nice jumping back, air dodging back in. Goober looking to get back onto the stage. Still, Joe has been struggling so hard to close these stocks on this Kirby because this Kirby is holding on to his advantages so well off stage, right? Going for those constant drop down back airs, right? Pikachu, with the lack of disjoints, the one weakness this character has is you no know, lack of disjoints. You're not really able to play around this Kirby well because you have to you have to commit to every hit you throw out. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Goober is playing super well around said fact. And normally one of the things, right, Pikachu's do to com combat that, right, is Tijol is you can confirm Tijol into Nair, you can confirm it into Grab, you can confirm it into Fair, right? You can really utilize that in place of a de disjoint. I mean, play defensive, use it to create an opening, and then confirm all of it to find a way Oh in. my god! But not only, Momo, are you not going to do that, you're also not going to deny that up air. And Golly. that's going to close it out. Goober taking a clean 3-0, and, and maybe Golly. not what we expected for our first set of uh, top 8. Yeah, that was a quick 3-0 from Goober's Kirby. Not even the Toon Link, honestly. That Again, that catch. call, that was so good with the up smash there. Just missing Th the edge cancel, too. This was like, like, come on, bro. Like, hold on. Obviously, we were able to close it out there with the dash tag. But, like, uh, what percent even was this at? 120? Okay, 130. No tech on the platform. And 130, bro? Yeah, and I want to I wanna say, um, if we jump back. Okay. I want to I want to look at How do you feel about Kirby up air? So, Kirby up air, I mean, very uh -huh. solid move, right? It combos it you know, can kill as we see there, but uh -huh. I want to look Okay. Or Do you okay. see a DI line right now, friend? Oh, what are you trying to say? Uh What, what are you implying, Ritual? Are you do. implying we that somebody who made it into top 8 can't DI? I think What we are you trying see to say, it Ritual? Right here pointed up and out. I don't think he DI'd this right, Momo. I think I think it's sent. Okay, you know, just shot in the, the dark, maybe if he died to Kirby up air at 130, maybe he didn't DI correctly. Honestly, Ritual, you are changing the game right now. Without rage, <laughs> I mean, Pikachu's not heavy, but I'm not sure that that was... I'm just saying, dude, I'm just saying.